There are about 45 of them, displayed in between centuries-old pillars. All made of marble, these sculptures at Sherafia Sistan in Istanbul remind the onlookers of old romantic notions of loss and melancholy. These stones carry the stories of many generations. Their contours, indents and colours form narratives in their own right. And by using one of the oldest mediums known to humanity, Güngörür revives the spirit of the past to tell the folkloric tales of Anatolian heroes, women. Most of them are female figures, mourning over their lovers. And they're all from famous Turkish and Ottoman epics and tragedies. So the local visitors are most likely to recognize the characters and how their stories unfold. I practice both abstract and figurative sculpting, though I could say that I'm making more and more figurative pieces lately. This collection, though, is all about retelling stories from this country and its culture, especially our famous love stories. Most of them are about hopeless love and how lovers never seem to end up together. There's always a tragedy or a big sacrifice to be made. So I wanted to depict the agony of losing a lover by closing the eyes of the sculptures. The fact they have no arms is a symbol of not ending up with your lover and that there's no one to embrace. And finally, the cistern's constantly dripping waters are the tears shed by the lovers. Günguru likens his own relationship with sculpting to the love stories he depicts. He says he lets each marble and piece of stone lead him to a different journey. And along the way, he finds himself unable to stop until the journey ends, usually wherever the rocks decide to. I've been sculpting for the last 25 years. Even though I studied fine arts at the university, other artists in my family guided me towards this medium. I immediately fell in love with it and have never stopped carving rocks ever since. I remember because I didn't want to leave the workshop and I failed at all my other classes at university. It isn't so different now. I can't stay away from my workshop for more than two days at a time or I feel restless. And I am a firm believer in consistency. It's actually really good for my work. It's as if the artist is showing us the heart's endless capacity for love through one of the most enduring mediums. Nursenat Tutar, TRT World, Istanbul.